Hi all you cosplayers and lovers of cosplay out there. I'm Burt Vixen and this is my cosplay vault. So our friends from CosplaySky.com sent us the CW Arrow costume for our friend Joe from that hashtag newsfeed. We're gonna take a look at CosplaySky.com, show you how to order some amazing costumes for yourself, and we're gonna do a full detailed review and see if this costume meets up to all of our queen standards. So here we are at CosplaySky.com. Now as you can see, their interface is ridiculously easy to use. You can search by category, they've got accessories, props, wigs, costumes, they've got the whole shebang. Now we know that we're looking for the arrow costume, so we're gonna type arrow into the top search bar there. Now once you've decided, hey, this is the costume I want, you can look at their sizing chart there, which is gonna show you what their small, extra small, large, all that kind of stuff is. But like I said earlier, this, uh, this website also has the ability for you to type in your own custom measurements. So make sure in the size, select custom made, and then type in the measurements that fit to you then in the message down below, tell them that you want it customized. Now that we're done with that, all you have to do is click add to cart, pay for this sucker, and it'll be on its way to you in no time. Now I just wanna let you guys know that communication with this company is super easy, especially for an overseas company. Not only that, their shipping is super accurate. So if they tell you a time it's gonna be there, it'll be there on time, I promise. Where the hell did you come from? I came from the newsfeed, obviously. Well, hi, Joe, and hey. welcome to uh, my vault here. So how do you feel about the costume laying in front of you? I feel it's kind of intimidating, actually, but it looks pretty amazing. And I only say intimidating because I feel like there's a lot of facets to this. There are a lot of facets, but it's okay, because I'll help you put it on, I promise. Maybe yeah. not the pants, I'll let you do that in the back room. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll help you with like the wrist guards and stuff. Um, so uh, you're a little nervous about about cosplaying. You ever cosplay before? I've, I've I've made a Iron Man costume once and I wore it for a while. That's but pretty hardcore. It's not necessarily uh, no. You, to answer your question, no, I have not cosplayed before. So this is going to be a a new experience for me. You excited? I am. I, let me ask you something. How's this? How's this like leather stuff feel? Like, is it light? Is it heavy? I mean, it seems kind of light. You know. All right. So as a cosplayer who's worn costumes at conventions for probably over eight hours and died afterwards, um, this costume is actually the the leather or the pleather that they used on this. It looks like real leather and it's super light. So when you say die, though, I've seen your cosplays and it's like you're not wearing much of anything at all. So hey, 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 armor. Doesn't matter how much it's covering, it's strenuous to wear, man. Especially with frickin' heels, being a chick, you know, gotta I look tall, it. slender, and sexy, that's how that works. And you're in cosplay season now, right? Yeah, yeah, lots of salad. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I love myself. But anyways, that's not conceited. Um, <laughs> that's not conceited at all. No, 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 I promise. Are you ready to put this costume on? As ready as I'll ever be. Are you sure about that? All right, so we do something here in a Burt Vixen's vault. You're gonna have to stand up with me. All right. All right. And it's something I like to call cosplay magic. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, if you give me a high five in about two seconds, okay. you'll become the arrow. All right. You ready? One. Cosplay power! Oh my God, Joe, you are now the freaking arrow. Alicia, you failed this city. I didn't. I'm just kidding. I'm a sad panda now. I will say this is remarkably lightweight. Like really lightweight. How's it look, by the way? It looks, all right, let's, let's get you centered. Let's get you center stage here, sir. All right, I have to say, can you, can you give us all a quick a quick turnaround here? Just give us a quick, cool, oh yeah, look at all that. That's <laughs> awesome. This costume looks pretty freaking legit. So you're saying it feels lightweight? Yeah, like I, this, I don't feel like I'm even wearing a, like a jacket or anything. Oh dude, it looks like, I mean, it's, if you look here, it looks like pleather. You can even see in the front area here, we've got this little stitch work detail. This this is more detail than I was honestly expecting. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked here. Pretty excited. You know what? I feel like I can sleep in this costume. <laughs> so you definitely could wear this at a convention oh, for yeah. like eight Easily. hours. I, you could wear this all day. You wouldn't even know know that this is on. That's perfect. And then how did it fit when you first got it? It fits. It feels like it fits fine. Does I, it? I feel like the jacket's a little loose, but that okay. might be because it's so light. Well, I mean, jacket modifications are super easy. You just have to take in you know some of the seams on the side here, and you can make it fit yourself. Is that easy Perfecto. to do? Yeah, it's super easy. Most most cosplayers will have no problem doing that. Even non-cosplayers, there's lots of tutorials online. And you've helped you helped me put this on. Let me ask you, what was the hardest part of attaching everything? You know, the hardest part I have to say was maybe helping you with the belt. Yeah. But other than that, man, like everything was ridiculously easy. Yeah, and you figured out this quiver pretty easily. Yeah, well the quiver's nice because as you can see, it goes around here, it attaches in the back, and they've made it really easy. You've got these loops 
that you can put the quiver through so that your quiver always stays in place. And they use these awesome straps, which you can kind of see, turn around this way a little bit, put your arm up, yeah, armpit view. Um, you can kind of see that these straps right here, are they're adjustable, so if it's too loose, it's not loose, and they're easy to put on. Mind you, I have to say, you might need a friend to help you put this on, maybe, yep. unless you're skilled. I definitely would not be. Um, but the same is used on the wrist here. Um, these clips just clip in together. You can tighten them, and then once you've got it fit to what you need, you can just cut off the excess, and nobody will ever freaking know. Right. Pretty awesome. I mean, then you can upgrade the gloves, obviously, but these are right. a great starting point. This right. is a great base suit if you want to start like an aero costume, I feel right. like. Right, no, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, there's there's some things, obviously, that you'd want to maybe modify, like you could easily put a wire in the hood here to force it to keep the shape you want. I know he's been complaining a little bit about it falling over his eyes. Um, also, do you mind if I, do you mind if I de-hood you, sir? Oh yeah, a beanie. So he also, he's currently got a hat on or a beanie on. Well, the reason is because it slips <laughs> down so much. Like when I put it on, like I can't, I need to like, it slips down like a lot. That's well, and beanie works. Wire would also work. Easy, easy, quick modifications, but I'm gonna take this off you for a second. You put your head down. Uh, have you noticed the mask is actually made out of some kind of latexy material, which is great because it's gonna conform to your face. Um, they did go ahead and put a white craft foam piece in there. Now the craft foam is great because it's gonna prevent from like headaches and migraines because this is a good like pressure point right here. Is that what that's for? Yeah, it'll it'll prevent against head pressure. Trust me, even having something lightweight on your head for hours, it's gonna hurt after a while. My one little nitpick, 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 <laughs> is that they should have made that black or green or a color that closely, more closely represented it. Also, if you uh, notice, he didn't paint his eyes black. Oh, gosh. I'm a little disappointed with him right now. He really should have done that. I just came from the news feed. Ah, whatever, no excuses. Um, but if you paint the eyes black or like, where the eye holes are of I'm the mask. My back on. Yeah, I whatever. Like this just, just be arrow, just be quiet. Um, if you paint your eyes black there, it's gonna look like even more of a seamless mask. And it works pretty well. Once again, guys, this is a pretty legit base. And the cool off. thing is you can, uh, I'm sorry to cut no, you yeah, off. The cool whatever. thing is you can actually take this off. Because it has buttons, so you could wear this uh, just as a jacket alone. Which is pretty cool. We might have to de-hood him here completely in a second because I'm curious to see exactly. When I come back to like. street clothes, I'll wear the. I'll just wear the. Just jacket. wear the jacket. Okay. That sounds like a good call. Um, so another thing I noticed here, if you want to turn around a little more, um, all of the jacket details in the back, like the wrist, there's a lot of sewn-in details here. A little. This is completely straight. Things that they haven't missed on the costume. Super impressed. The quiver is a little. Quiver needs a little bit of help. Um, one of my buddies here actually suggested putting something like a poster tube in there to help it. Maybe like a piece of craft foam rolled up. And obviously he's missing some bows and arrows. But I'm pretty sure they sell that on their website separately. But you know, this is amazing. This is a legit starting base. For I do like it. I do, I do dig it. Do you feel like a badass? I do actually. Do you feel like you could go save some people? I feel like I like, feel like a badass. <laughs> I don't necessarily <laughs> think I could save anybody. Dude, go kick ass on him, Come I can on. definitely take some mean ass pictures, I feel. <laughs> That's the other thing is, um, this holds up pretty well on film, which is another surprising thing, because as a cosplayer, I can tell you, it's really hard to find that right material that works in both real life and in film, and they did a pretty legit job here, so. I know, it, it feels, like I said, it feels great. Like, the, the key point to this, I, you said it looks great, I obviously can't see myself, but it, it, <laughs> it definitely feels great. And, and like, it's so comfortable. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I could wear this all day. See? And it's hot, right? We're in California, it's like 75 degrees. Yeah, it's really hot, guys. 75. And, uh, I feel super comfortable in this. And that, I have to say, is one of the most important things for me as a cosplayer, is to feel like I can wear it for a significant amount of time. Right. Right. Oh man, Joe, it's you again, and you still look awesome in that jacket. It's me again, and this jacket is amazing, and this just buttons off. Um, you can remove this and just wear it. Arrow jacket. That is freaking fantastic. Anyways, guys, if you want to look this epic in your own costume from Cosplay Sky, make sure to use this coupon code below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with everything trending in geek pop culture. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Burt Vixen, and this is my Cosplay Vault.